Hi everyone, it's Fitz with your daily delivery. Hope you're doing well. I am very good as we continue to prepare Go Power Cat for Saturday night's late night affair with BYU and Provo. That game will kick off at 9.30, well, well past my bedtime, but I'll be there with Ryan Gilbert to cover it. And today we're going to talk about how difficult it is to win in college football and how we tend to take it for granted. First, your reminder, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit the thumbs up, leave those comments. All of it is so very much appreciated as we continue to grow and get that algorithm cooking. Hey, um, I'm just going to call them out. Some, not all, many Kansas fans just took it for granted that they were going to be a good football team this year. They had the parts after all, but they stopped and didn't look at what could go wrong, including a change in offensive coordinator. Being good in football can be really fragile. One injury can change everything. Sometimes that injury actually leads you to find out that your backup quarterback was really better than your starter. And other times, it completely derails you. Winning in football is incredibly hard game in and game out. It's a physical game. Players get worn out. And sometimes the opposition just plays out of their mind. And that funny-shaped ball likes to bounce in weird ways. Kansas is 1-2 and two going to West Virginia. Look, their dreams of winning the Big 12 are still there. They can go unbeaten in the conference. None of these losses go towards their conference record. But I think we all recognize that this team is a shell of what we expected. I thought they would contend with Jalen Daniels at quarterback, and I too was wrong. But I think we all overlooked the change at coordinator and didn't really pay enough attention that Andy Kotelecki was kind of an offensive genius, and the fact that he moved on to Penn State was going to be a hit for KU. I'm a believer in hiring from within, particularly when you're tied to a system. Someone else needs to know that system. If you're hiring coaches that run a system that nobody else gets and when they leave you have to change, that's not a way to stay stable in the college football environment. They have radically changed their offense and honestly downgraded. What Kotelecki did was even the tables with a lot of motion and shifts and, and trying to get the defense misaligned. Now everyone lines up right and stops the KU offense, and Jalen Daniels throws interceptions. This is not the team any of us expected, but this is college football. Illinois was trying to get better. UNLV's looking at a big season. They're playing for their own goals, and they beat KU. Now they're going to play West Virginia, a team that is in a similar situation, that has had things go wrong when they thought this was going to be a big year, that's going to be an entertaining game. And at the end of it, someone will survive and the other one will be even more wounded than before the game. But never, ever in the game of football, whether you're Alabama or Kansas State or anyone else, should you take it for granted that your team's going to be great. Things happen, upsets happen, and you lose your way. That's unfortunately for KU fans what's happened. But they've also got a quick lesson in football and how it's different from basketball. You just don't get a few more dudes and reload and be a national title contender in football. Sometimes when you're at this level, the Big 12 or ACC, you got to hit the right combination, have the right breaks, and have the right, well, non-injuries. And now we'll see if KU can persist in the face of early failure. I think they will. Because I believe in Lance Leipold, but also they need to change offensive coordinators.